Everybody's different. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Car X Drift Racing Online on the Xbox One. Before we get started, I want to make a big thank you to the game developers of Car X Technologies for hooking me up with the game code for today on the Xbox One for a little pre-release fun. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media as well as make sure you follow all their social media, all of which are going to be found in the description box below. Once again, a big thank you to the developers for making this episode possible here on the channel. So let's get sideways and have a little fun here on the Xbox One version of Car X Drift Racing Online. Alright, so first impressions of the graphics on the game. It does look incredibly cool. I love the look of the game. I've always loved, you know, the Car X Drift Racing Online game on, you know... The mobile and stuff like that as well as on the pc side so now it's on xbox one and there is a cross play uh option in here which is pretty cool because you know you can go from pc or xbox one if you don't have a built pc to play it now it's here on xbox one so i did do a lap or two so if you notice i'm level two just to make sure the wheel and everything worked so i got on turned my xbox one on installed the game hooked my fanatec up to my xbox started the game up and everything worked like right off the bat, everything worked. There was no settings I needed to change. My handbrake was already set up. My gears, everything just worked, which is incredible, you know, to have everything in settings and everything set up perfectly for what I needed it to do. So that was a major plus for me right off the bat. So as a wheel feel, well, I haven't changed any settings. This is just bare bones factory settings in the game. We're going to go drift in the stock Hachiroku right now at parking lot A. Because, you know, we don't have a lot of money. And then we will do some tuning on it. We're going to try and see. My best score is 2,000 in a stock Hachiroku. So let's go. Definitely super excited to be playing this game before the release of it on Xbox One. Definitely uh, a big thank you again to the developers. Have to turn that down a little bit. As you can see, right off the bat... The wheel kind of just does what I want it to do. I kind of can let it go just like I would in a set of Corsa. And it kind of just feels good. And for a stock Corolla, it's like it's down for sure. Oh, that was a little bit long of a handbrake drag. Clutch kick in third. Just gonna clutch kick that. There we go. Stock Corolla getting it down. The wheel feels incredibly amazing. I threw that a little bit too much there. We're gonna lower that music just a tad because I feel like that beat music is a little loud for you headphone users. Go back in a second. See, we only have three miles on this car. Faint clutch kick it in. Ooh, really close to that wall. I held the clutch a little bit too long there. This car definitely needs some more power, so definitely gonna be looking to tune to add some power to this car and throw a tune on this car. Oh, well, there we go. Well, I think we've already beaten our uh, best score so far. Clutch kicking in third, definitely helping. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Oh. We saved it, we good. Gonna throw it hard with clutch kick third. A little bit of left foot brake. A little pop of the handbrake there. Kind of stalled it out. Lack there of power. Wall tap. So <laughs> we managed to get bronze on this one. Oh no! Oh, do I not have reverse? Oh rip! Our reverse gear is not set up. Oh, there it is. Reverse gear is up in seventh. That's weird. Probably should rechange that. So that's the one thing I've noticed. I gotta rechange that on. But the fact that everything works. And the wheel feels really good. If you noticed, I was able to just let it go and throw it around. The wheel physics feels really good. It's very grippy. So it's incredible, you know, that. I've played the other versions, and now I'm on this one, and it feels really great. The wheel feel is very similar to a set of Corsa when it comes to how it rotates and the self-steer. So that's a major plus for me 
because the wheel feel is everything. You guys know this on the channel, especially with drifting. It's the biggest thing for me. So now let's uh, see if we can't up this a little bit. Let's go to mods. See what we got. Yep. So we got turbo, 249 horsepower. Racing 370 we can't get. But we can get the drift one for 2250. 319 horsepower drift spec. Uh, yeah, we're going to buy that. So now we got drift spec on. Let's take a look. We change up the rims a little bit. Oh man, we got plenty of money to do a lot of upgrades. Oh, so that increases the size. All right, BBS wheels, RC wheels. Hmm, I'm I'm kind of liking these. Go up to 17 though. Can we do Y for all? Oh, all of them. There we go. 17s. Ah, we'll keep it at 16s. So we're definitely going to buy those. A very stormy day outside here for you today. Getting a little bit of... Uh, we're going to close that window a little bit. A little bit of storm outside. Weather. So now we have a little bit better power in this car. And that. So can we do... Can we, do, can we do design? Okay, design work. All right. Dino stand. Ah, this is what I wanted. Um, excuse me. Why, why do we... Why are we not... Why do we not have uh, more angle? Um, um, hello, I want more angle. But I can't seem to figure out how to change it because, well, I'm on the wheel. So I'll have to figure that out for next episode. So with that being said, we're going to go back in. We're going to do another one in parking lot A and see if we can't get a better run now that we have the Drift Spec Corolla, the Hachiroku here on Car X Drift Racing Online. So super excited to have the game. Again, a big thank you to the game devs for hooking me up with this pre-release. So we're going to be doing a lot more of this game here on the channel for sure. Much more power. Oh yeah, much more power. Way more power. Fourth gear sliding. Oh, we need more angle though. Okay, 360 for style. What? Yup. 360 for style definitely counted that as not a win. Car gets very, very loose and under twitchiness, so we may have to be a little bit lighter on the on the steering. Oh, left foot brake. No, 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 lose it. Dang it, drift fail. This car is a totally different monster. Maybe we should have just gone to the uh, turboed version. Oh, oh. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna retry that. Maybe I should have gone turbo version then set up straight into the drift version of this car. But you live and you learn, right? So I hope you guys are enjoying this episode here on Car X Drift Racing Online on the Xbox One version. Gentle clutch kick. Gonna catch that. Didn't want to over rotate like I did last time. Feathering throttle. There we go. Full throttle. Ah, oh, we were so good until there. This car just. This car is a definitely a monster. We're gonna have to tweak some tuning and stuff like that. I didn't think uh, it would get this crazy off the get go. So we're gonna have to probably hook up a controller so that we can actually access the tuning menus and use them correctly. Left foot brake on the clutch, a little clutch kick. Some fancy footwork going in this episode here today. But as for my impressions on this wheel, it's definitely a lot of fun. It gets a little bit uh, a little bit oscillating 
from side to side at times under high speed and stuff like that. If you use the brakes modulating a little bit, you can get it a little bit smoother. It's gonna be a really long e-brake drag. But I could also probably turn the force feedback down a little bit. Which I may actually do for next episode, turn the feedback down just a little bit to make the wheel a little bit smoother. Oh, but you know, we just gotta get our settings figured out. in this Corolla that is definitely a handful for sure feels good though but we're gonna tweak some settings real quick and we're gonna try it again we're gonna go into uh, settings go to controller we're gonna go to advanced and see what we got so we do have string assist is off everything is off string angle is 900 Ooh, we can go 1080 controller version off force feedback string dead zone linearity I want to keep that and your acceleration brake 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 okay so let's turn let's turn the wheel force feedback down because I think my actual fan attack is set to 900 the fan attack's turned down a little bit so let's turn the force feedback down a smidge and see what difference that makes pop this thing in the third oh okay yep a lot less feel A lot less feel, a lot less self-steer, but it's not chattering as much. We may have gone down a little bit too much. Yep, yep, we went down too much. Okay, all right. Let's uh, go back into that because we did go, <laughs> we went down too much. So we'll go to five. I feel like that's, I feel like five's a good number. B, B. And we're going to retry it. So we're going to retry and go for broke on this final run here on the first episode of Car X Drift Racing online on the Xbox One. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll put you on the description box below. Make sure you check out all social media for the game, which is also down in the description box below. And make sure you tap that like button. Give me a subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, I would appreciate the support. If you want to help support me and the channel? All you gotta do is subscribe, hit that bell notifications for instant access to the videos as soon as they come out. And again, a big thank you to the Car X Technology game developers for hooking me up with the little bit of the early access here for the Xbox One version. I just gotta be a little bit gentler on the throttle. So I'm noticing it's not like my Assetto cars where it's all like full throttle, full throttle, brake, clutch, modulate throttle a little bit. It's, you kind of really got to be modular on the throttle and it's something I got to get used to, but we just throwing some nasty flick entries. I feel like if we actually tuned the car though, didn't even need a brake there, just a brake flick. Ooh, yep, yep, don't, don't brake like that though, you'll lock up the front. I feel like if we actually tuned the suspension of the car, we probably would be pretty good and we'd be okay with how the car drove because this is just a base factory tune it does feel great but for my personal driving style I don't think it's where I need it to be everybody's different oh oh what <laughs> what just happened um um, uh, rip. We were definitely doing better, but we kind of rolled it towards the end. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Car X Drift Racing Online here on the Xbox One. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Make sure you follow them on all social media. And make sure you guys come back for the next episode because there will be more episodes here on the channel. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.